Hello friends, welcome to Programming by Zord HTML5 tutorial series. In last lecture, we talked about local storage HTML5 API. In this lecture, we are going to talk about session storage. Uh, this is the file we are going to use and here I have saved it. <coughs> so let's start coding now. HTML5 So before we go ahead and uh, write the actual code, I would like to tell you guys that what is the difference between local and session storage. Session storage actually uh, the data stored in session storage is destroyed whenever the user closes that browser or as the user you know quits this session. <laughs> and local storage is, stays there until the client himself removes the data. Okay, so uh, the idea is same. First of all, we have to check the browser if it supports HTML5 API. So we write our JavaScript code here. Uh, if type of storage is not equal to undefined. the stuff and if uh, it is set to undefined alert browser does not support for um, HTML5 session storage API okay so um, now we have to write the session storage code if session storage dot click count is true then go ahead and increment it by one actually this should be inside a number and uh, else uh, if not set it then go ahead and simply set it to one here it is okay now after you are done with it you have to update something called uh, let's create a paragraph with id uh, temp now it will update the contents of temp as soon we click uh, solving button okay on click equals demo and okay there is a you know document we have to select document dot get element by id temp and set its inner html to Click to types. Okay. Now here will come the session story dot click count. So clicked this number of times using this session. <coughs> okay. Uh, it seems all right. And now let's check if it works fine. But before we go ahead and do that, we have to specify the function. So uh, I'm going to <coughs> enclose it inside a you know, function called demo. And here let's add it. Okay. Now we are going to test it out how it behaves. <coughs> I've opened it using Firefox and as soon as I click here, uh, it actually updates nothing. Looks like we have some kind of typo in our code. Let's check it out again. Um, where is it actually problem? Oops, uh, there it is. 
you can see that I made a little typo and now it seems uh, perfect okay now let's reload the page <coughs> and now click on click me okay we can see that as we click the same session click counter gets increased and as soon we close it and open it again the counter should be reset now and you can see that it is reset already so this is uh, a quick example of session storage how it can be used inside a client session hope you guys have enjoyed learning session storage html5 api please subscribe to my channel and share it with your community thanks for watching